And the third term of an arithmetic progression AP is 4M minus 2N. If the name the term of that progression is 2M minus 8N, the question asks is to find the common difference of this arithmetic progression but in terms of M and N. So let me attempt to answer this question. If I go back to the question again, it is an AP that the third term of it is 4M minus 2N and the means term in term number 9 of it is given by 2M minus 8N and as it is an AP it has a common difference. So the question asks is to find the common difference of this AP but in terms of M and N. So let's do that. The third term, remember, third term of an AP, or term in an AP is given by the formula A plus N minus 1 D. N minus 1 is in the bracket, D is outside the bracket. So term number 3 is given as 4N minus 2N. And term number 3 is nothing but 4M minus 2N as it is given in the question. Similarly, term number 9, that is the NINS term, is 42M minus 8N. Look at it. But what we do to get next term from wherever or from whichever term, if for example from term number 3 to get term number 4, you add D. Term number 4 to get term number 5, you add another D. Number 5 to get number 6, you add another D. Number 6 to get number 7, you add another D. Like that, for from term number 3 to get term number 9, we add 6 times D. That is, we add the common difference 6 times. To add term number 3, to give you term number 9. So T3 plus 6D, it will give us T9. T3 is term number 3, while T9 is term number 9. If I add this D, D, D six times, it will give us uh, term number 9. So if I continue substituting here, I have term number 3 as 4M minus 2N, then plus this 6D. This will be equals to term number 9, which is 2m minus 8n. So I have 2m minus 8n. So I continue simplifying this because I'm interested in the common difference. And that common difference is in terms of m and n. So what I'm doing now next is nothing but to make this the subject of the formula. So I'll continue. So 6d left by the left. And 4M and 2N taken to the right hand side, I will now have 6D equals to 2M minus 8N. I have it already by the right, but 4M taken is becomes minus 4N minus 2N taken to the right hand side becomes positive 2N. So I'll collect like terms here 2M minus 8 minus 4M that will leave answer minus 2M minus 8N plus 2n it will be minus 6n so i'm going to have 6d equals to minus 2m minus 6n i'll move again factoring 2 from this right hand side i have minus 2 into m plus 3n and i will now divide both sides by 6 the coefficient of d because i'm interested in making this subject so there i'll have d to be equals to minus 2 bracket m plus 2 and that is the right hand side divided by 6 and 2 can go into 6 3 times so I'm going to have uh, minus bracket m plus 3 and all over 3 this 2 into 6 is what gives this 3 and it is minus 2 so the minus remains so with this I have answered this question so d is now equals to minus m minus into m plus 3 and all over 3. So let's see the mark distribution for this question according to the official work marking scheme. The first mark is the method mark where you try to form this equation. That is to equate term number 3 after adding 6d with term number 9. 
And doing that accurately, you have the A1 mark. For trying to solve that equation, or trying to make the subject of the formula, you have the method mark. And getting D equals to minus bracket M plus 3N all over 3, accurately, you have the A1 mark. So in total, there are four marks to this very question, according to the official work marking scheme.